Okay, guys, so apparently there's a new uh, malware that's out. It's a, uh, in the category of ransomware. It's called uh, Prison Locker or Power Locker, and uh, it's much more sophisticated than uh, Crypto Locker. You guys are familiar with that. Uh, basically, uh, don't fall for this scam, guys. Um, it Basically, uh, you're not able to disable anything in your task manager or go into your registry editor or any other of the functions built in Windows OS. So I'm gonna show you guys how to get rid of this uh, quite easily, and this should be the very first step of you guys trying to get rid of this, opposed to going to the registry or downloading software. So we're gonna do it completely manually, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a system restore, or a system re uh, restore point, basically going back in time to a previous point before you guys install this prison locker or power locker. <clears throat> now the thing is, a lot of you guys aren't going to be able to get to get into safe mode either or safe mode with networking. So we're going to have to do something a little bit different. We're going to do a uh, we're going to have to go into safe mode with command prompt and uh, directly from there execute the uh, restore file uh, directly from the command prompt. So that's so what we got to do. Okay, I'm using Windows 7. What we need to do is get into the um, Advanced Boot Options or what is now called the Windows Advanced Options. And what we do to get in there, we just uh, re restart the computer and push F8. And let me show you. For you guys that have Windows, um, Windows 8, look on the link below in the description. And what I'll do is... Um, is uh, there's a different way you have to get into your uh, Windows Advanced Options. Just look below and I'll show you. Yeah, I'll, I'll put a link there so you guys know how to get there. So anyways, I want to wait till it starts to reboot up and I'm going to push the, uh, the F8 key here. And then I'm going to push the F8 key here. Okay, now that's pretty much it. I'm going to wait. Okay, so here we go here guys. Okay, watch closely, okay. So I'm going to go to, this is not going to work for you guys for most of you, you're not, you're not going to be able to get into safe mode, uh, you're not going to be able to get into safe mode of net networking. We're going to do it this way, we're going to go safe mode with command prompt. Go ahead and push enter, let this run for a second, and once it's done loading all the drivers, we should be able to sign in here. Come on. And of course, you guys want to sign in as um, the the user with uh, administrator privileges. And I'm going to sign in here. And then it goes back into the uh, command prompt. Okay, now here's the thing, guys. Okay, we what we want to do is um, execute the executable, the register. Uh, I'm sorry, the uh, the restore. We want to execute that particular file. Now the thing is, okay, for those of you that basically, I mean, I'm using a Windows 7, and um, if you guys are using anything earlier, like Windows XP or Windows 2000 or Windows 98, you have to um, go to, actually go to a different path. But for instance, I'm using Windows 7, and anything Windows 7 and above, what do you simply do from here? You just type in um, the executable file, the restore executable file, and it's this here. Yes for restore and I'm gonna have everything on uh, the bottom of the descriptions as well so for you guys that have Windows um, let me focus in, in, in on here Windows 7 and above this would be the executable file rs trui dot exe now for those of you that have um, like Windows XP and prior, Windows 2000, Windows 98, uh, Millennium, what you want to do is you want to go to a different path and what you would do is you would go, you need to go into the restore directory. So what you do from here, you just type in CD, change directory, and go to restore. And I'll have everything below in the description. And then from here, you guys do the same thing here. From Now that we're in the restore directory, what you do is you just go into the... Um, you just type in that uh, restore executable and you push enter, okay? But again, I have Windows 7, so I'm going to execute it directly from my System32 file. So from here, I'm just gonna type in 
RST RST RUI dot EXE Oops EXE and I'm gonna push enter and then there we go okay now I'm to the uh, system restore now what I'm gonna do is after you get this page here you click on next and then from here, here's my restore points. Now, some of you guys may not have restore points on here. If you don't, if you don't have anything on here, what you want to do is you want to check on this, show more restore points, and hopefully you have something on here. If you don't, sorry guys, but you're going to have to go another path to get rid of this, get rid of this malware. So, anyways, um, what you want to do is you want to click on one of these. Uh, you can see the dates on here. You have January 23 and January 16th. You want to check on something that's um, from before you got infected. So if, you, if you're not sure the exact date and you have some other restore points, you can go ahead and guess. You can try this one first and go ahead and click an X. If it doesn't work, then you can do a, um, you can go back to this same restore um, screen here. Then you can click an, um, a, uh, an earlier one as well. It's so no problem. So anyways, so I'm just going to go ahead and click on the uh, January 23rd. Then you click on Next. And then from here it says confirm your restore point. Now the thing is when you restore your computer from this point, it's not going to delete any of your uh, like pictures or videos or documents or anything like that. Basically all the programs that you installed um, after this date is basically going to be uninstalled. It's going to be gone. And once you guys do this, you can't revert back any either. So just take note of that. And then you just click finish. And then once, uh, once started, system restore cannot be interrupted. Do you want to continue? Yeah, you don't want this to be interrupted. Make sure you have your power cord in. If you're using a laptop, you don't want your computer to shut off because it may take some while. Basically, you just click on yes. I'm not gonna restore my computer here again, but you just click on yes, and you follow the prompts, and from there, um, your computer should be good to go. If you guys have any questions or anything, uh, just give me a comment below, and uh, any subscriptions and likes would be appreciated as well. Thanks, and have a good day, guys. Bye.